Jewish film looks at our history, our tradition, our uh, issues of life all over the world. And it's not just a window into the past. It's a window into our uh, Jewish uh, community life today and into issues of Jewish identity. The festival deals quite a bit with uh, Jewish humor with uh, Jewish life in communities and other places in the world. But of course, as in any Jewish film festival, uh, we are still obsessed with issues of having to do with the Holocaust. And this is probably one of the main historical subjects that Jewish films deal with on an ongoing basis. There's nothing, we can't ignore it, we can't get away from it. It's part of our Jewish consci consciousness. This is uh, who we are. One of the outstanding documentary selections in the upcoming Jewish Film Festival is the story of famous Berlin producer, Ker Keron, who later acted in the classic, The Blue Angel. The Blue Angel was hugely successful, rocketing its young leading lady, Marlene Dietrich, to instant stardom and securing Gerhom's place in movie history. When many Jews in the arts escaped from the Nazis to Hollywood, he declined the opportunity and was eventually deported to Theresienstadt. The Nazis, recognizing his genius, utilized his talents to produce a movie purporting to show the concentration camp in a favorable light, calling it a town for the Jews. When the movie was finished, Ferran was murdered along with everyone else who had taken part in the production. The Jewish Film Festival will have movies that Jews made about Jews, about history, Jewish culture, and personal stories. Sheila Zucker for IBA News. The Jewish Film Festival over the Hanukkah holiday at the Jerusalem Cinematheque. Returning now to finance, it was a day of mixed showing on the Tel Aviv.